Up next on this beautiful Saturday, it's windy, it's in the 50s. I've got Gus in the teens right now, they're blowing right down the runway. So without much further ado, let's get the uh, Hawker Hurricane up. All right, so it's it's backwards. All right, let's go. I didn't really want to taxi too much. Well, this is flying nice. But why is it pitching up so much? I got a big ass battery in there, so it can't be a CG problem. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's going up like a uh, like a rocket. Whenever I let go of the stick, oh well. We'll just have to remember. I think we had this problem before. And the winds are crazy today. Now they're coming across again. Too much rudder in that turn, you think? No, I didn't use any rudder. Let's see, a little rudder. Ooh, we just lost our canopy. Okay, it's between me and the pole, so I'm not gonna move. I didn't think that canopy was on very well. I'm not gonna move because it's right between me and that telephone pole down there. Well, this has just been a thrilling flight by by this plane. No, <laughs> it's not the plane's fault if I got it set up wrong, and I definitely got something wrong on it. I just want to see what a coordinated turn looks like. Ooh, I guess I better get some throttle in that corrugated turn. There we go. A little throttle help to go down. Wow. I got something wrong with this thing. Maybe I got too much paint on it. I do something, but I'm afraid to do anything other than just try to fly it. Winds, winds, winds. Winds. Right, the winds are bad right now compared to what they have now. I don't know if I got three minutes left at this thing. A little coordinated turn there. Let's see if it drops out of the sky on a loop. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Well, see this was my relaxing plane today, one of them. I mean, they're all relaxing. But... I gotta do something with my elevator. I got my elevator throws at 100. Obviously, I need to bring down elevator. Note to Jeff and edit. Go work on the Hawker Hurricane. Elevator needs to go down a bunch. Let's see if we got gear. And we're gonna check too. We got gear. No flaps on account of the crosswinds. Let's get up here. I don't want to stand. Oh, I gotta stay here. That's right. I gotta, stay. I gotta drop my radio. 
because I'm out in the middle of the runway. I was going to try to get out of the runway. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> well, I mean, considering, well, I still, I guess I still had some trim left on the elevator, but not much. That was weird, man. Well, let's see. I got to put this down here to mark where I'm at. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I got that marked, so let's go up here. I'll show you where I got a 3200. And you can see why the hatch came off, man. I'm going to cut the I'm going to cut that hatch off cuz all that all those wires they were touching on the side. They were in there touching on the side, and that's why. Well, Jeff and his son Tuco in the shade and I'm going to go get Tuco and we're going on a little a little adventure hike out there to find the hatch on the plane and I should be able to because it's just about lined up just a little left to that flag and to that pole out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Woo! Woo! What do you think Tuco? Ready to go for a hunt? Go hunt! This is Jeff in the sun, Tuco in the shade. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing again. Woo!